So welcome ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be talking about FIFA 20. That's right. Okay, we're going to dive into the FIFA world because yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, the day before, they showed a little bit more of Volta. And I'm going to give you my opinion. Okay, now before we dive into this, if you don't know my channel, let me put a disclaimer up right now. Yes, I do prefer pairs. Yes, I play pairs a hell of a lot more than FIFA. Um, doesn't mean I haven't played FIFA in the past. I have. But these are all my opinions. If you can agree with me, you can disagree with me, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's dive into it. So without further ado, let's talk about Volta. And uh, let's give my opinions. Enjoy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to check out the trailer, right? We're going to run the trailer and we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to dissect a lot of stuff because they did come out with some pitch notes, which were nice to see. And we can have a look at them. So let's, uh, let's just dive right into here with the trailer itself, okay? They say it's a gameplay trailer. Um, now we know FIFA's gameplay trailers. They've got a snippet, a snippet of gameplay. That's a gameplay trailer. So express your style, right? So you can go in there, you can customize your players, which you know what, that's fine because it's futsal, it's Volta, it's street football. It's fine, you can customize your players because ultimately that's what it's all about. You're hardly gonna customize, uh, you know, an 11 aside team because they all have the correct kits, but you can do that. So they show a little bit of that. They show some moves, bit of trickery, ridiculous skills that you're not going to pull off in the game. Uh, now they've got 17 different locations. And I have to say, they look nice. Um, you've got Amsterdam, London, Paris, Cape Town, Tokyo, va va va. You know, you guys can see that. So there is a lot to choose from. All different, different atmospheres, different textures and turfs and graphics and, and all that. So they show a snippet of that. Uh, the different countries, the places you can play, uh, and we will see some gameplay uh, in just a second. Um, and of course, leave your thoughts below. Always interested to see what you guys think of these trailers. Um, so with uh, new ways to play, they've got 4v4, 5v5, there's goalies, there's non-goalies, there's no rules, we can foul everyone, survival. Um, so here's a little bit of gameplay. The first snippet of gameplay, it looks nice, no question, graphically looks lovely. Um, smashes that one in there, the crowd looks good. Uh, they've got Volta World, so a bit of a story there as well. It's almost like, what is it? Be, uh, be a journey, the journey mode, whatever it was called. Um, that's how much I played it, I can't even remember the name of it. But it's almost like that, you know, they're, they're coming out with this Volta storyline. So here's a little bit more gameplay, Van Dyke scoring uh, a bit of trickery there, a cut inside. Um, smashing it off the wall, there it is, um, backflips, Alex Morgan pulling that one out of the old onion bag, doing a backflip off the wall. Crazy goals, I mean goals you're never going to see scored within an 11 v 11 match, but then again that's the purpose of playing Volta uh, or street football. They're not calling it FIFA Street by the way, this is street football, they said that's different. So there we go, that's pretty much the Volta trailer in a nutshell. Now, I wanted to talk about a couple of things as well regarding this. As a Pez player, would this entice me to pick up FIFA 20? And we'll talk about that. Anyway, let's now dive into some actual sort of snippets of sort of GIFs and everything else. GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and, and really talk about what Volta has to offer. Okay, so now let's have a look at, uh, in a little bit more detail, okay? It's gonna be honest feedback. It's probably gonna be brutal, <laughs> to be honest. I'm just gonna be honest with you. And, um, you know, we've got the pitch notes. There is a lot to go through here. I wanna try and skim through it, but there are some clips to look. I've zoomed in, and I'm gonna give you my honest opinions. Like I said, it may be bad, so uh, look forward to that. Anyway, I like the pitch notes. They're nicely done, something Konami could do certainly gives you all the details you need to know about the game itself. So there's a little bit of blah -de blah at the beginning. Then they talk about the gameplay uh, and how they took a massive challenge of capturing the vibe of playing on the streets without losing the essence of what made FIFA today. 
And this is my first point, is the fact that I don't think Pez could ever really have this mode purely because of the way Pez's gameplay is built. It's, it's not as responsive as FIFA, which does make FIFA a more responsive game, duh, uh, and, 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 and sort of pick up and play and less of a simulation. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, FIFA isn't as simulated as, as Pez. It's not, especially this year in Pez 2020. It isn't, even with sliders. You know, whereas FIFA is very quick, very responsive, but that's what makes it more arcadey and what works, whereas Pez, mm, not so much. So they've got gameplay variety. There's basically a bunch of match types. There is a lot of content for what they've done. Obviously, it's something they've worked on and not just added it on to the game. Um, so you've got Volta Football, the simplified rules where there's no subs, offsides, injuries, yellows, reds, or even fatigue and stamina. None of that even matters. You just get on the pitch and you play and it's fun and goodness. Goodness. Uh, match types. Multiple match types. You want to experience uh, everything offers a different element and creates a variety of situations that you've never seen before in an 11 v 11 experience. Uh, becomes unique AI behavior as well in terms of formations and rotations to enable you to play with the tactics you want. Um, so you've got rush goalie, street with keepers, futsal, which is obviously a normal 5v5 where you do have refs um, and authentic rules. Uh, there's a quick snippet here showing the formation screen. So it's, it's pretty much the same as sort of Ultimate Team or, um, you know, an actual formation screen in career mode. You've got rating, you've got team chemistry there. Uh, obviously, chemistry this year apparently is going to be a big thing in career mode. And um, you can change the formation and everything else. Very simple and uh, to the point. So you've got a lot of environments as well. 17, I believe, to choose from. So some have walls, by the way, and some don't. So if you want to play without a wall and you want to play kick-ins instead of throw-ins, they don't throw it, they kick it, you can do that. Uh, they've got three different sizes. It's like you're ordering some sort of a drink. Would you like a small, a medium, or a large? Up to you. So if you want to play small field, there it is. Um, well, that, that definitely will be quicker. I don't know the the difference in small, medium, and large. FIFA's pitches have never been big compared to sort of Pez. Pez has the bigger the bigger field, which I think makes the game a feel more slower, um, whereas FIFA, the, the matches are very, very tight at, uh, at times. So you've got specific rules. For example, a street three versus three rush match with walls is completely different than a 4v4 street match without rules. Of course, that's pretty standard knowledge, isn't it? Uh, small sided matches are quick and fun, with each half being only three minutes of real time playing. So they're very quick. The timer only goes down when the ball is in play, and each extra time is only one minute. But it's going to be so quick, there's going to be plenty of goals, I'm sure. Uh, we've got a snippet of gameplay here. And obviously, they're using the same mechanics as FIFA, and that is why this will never really. Mm, what's the word? entice me it won't it won't entice me to buy fifa just because of volta because i'm not a huge fan of the gameplay um so walls prevent the ball from going out in most cases it will restart with the keeper or with a player close to the goal depending on the match type so here is a couple of other bits of gameplay and then this is also one thing that annoys me is they say it's a gameplay trailer that we just saw now there are moments of showing gameplay but it's still not like, just show me a match. The, the game is out, what, next month, pretty much. Konami have not messed around. They've shown us gameplay at E3. They're gonna show us it at Gamescom. They've shown us, or they've actually given us a demo to play as well. They've, they haven't held anything back. Whereas EA are like, we're just gonna show you this, that, and the other. Why? Just show us a match, and then we can make calls for ourselves. They may show it at Gamescom, I don't know. So, you know, just having a look at this though, it's the same old physics, you know, right here. The, the, it just looks silly. The problem I have with FIFA, and then yes, this is more of a complaining video because I I just think this is more of a tacked on mode that, wh what are they doing here? What are they, who are they trying to grasp with this game mode? People that play FIFA, they're not that fussed about this. They wanna play, they want an updated career mode. They want to play Ultimate Team or be a pro. Those are the three types of game modes they want to play. Not Volta, which you're going to play for maybe a couple of hours, a few weeks max, maybe a month if you're that excited or about it. And that's about it. But you know, you kind of see the gameplay here. 
And it's the same shenanigans of, you know, FIFA, fast pace, physics all over the place type of stuff. Um, rush matches, specific rules, I'm not going to worry about that. You guys can, of course, read all this. I'll leave the link for the de description if you guys want to. Um, now, they've got penalties as well. There is a lot of content. I will give them that much. You're not going to get bored, I think, really, really quickly when it comes to modes. Uh, the penalties are taken straight from FIFA 20, of course. Um, there's also another unique rule, uh, accumulator fouls. If you get sixth, if it's the sixth foul, it results in a penalty kick from the second penalty spot. And then every foul afterwards will result in another penalty. And then if you get another penalty after that, Barney the dinosaur comes out and starts running around the field. Come on, how many rules do you need? Just make it simple and to the point. Uh, the team also added a new mechanic to allow for last second goals. So if the ball goes into the net after full time, expires, and the shot was taken before the timer ran out, it would count as a goal. So it's like beat the buzzer, basketball type stuff. Um, so then they move on to new mechanics and flair. Okay, they've got custom ball physics. I mean, I, I don't really know if I agree with that. Uh, because you can see here, smashes it off the wall, comes right back. How assisted as well is this going to be? Are you going to be able to play Volta on manual? Imagine that. Manual wouldn't be too bad. I think it would be more fun, more free. Because playing like assisted and literally the ball's glued to your foot. You know, how effective is chemistry going to be? That's another question. Because it's so fast, is it really going to matter if you're a chemistry of 50 or 95? All these things we shall find out, I guess, when we play the game. Or if we do play the game. Uh, wall interaction. So you've got players interacting with the environment. That's kind of cool. Okay. You know, pushing themselves off the wall. Uh, right here, jumping. A little bit of Jackie Chan style. Budding straight off. Um, I don't know why you would do that. Instead of just running straight. Seems like you're kind of <laughs> wasting energy there. But the option's there. Uh, wall passes are ground and through passes that can be made using the wall. Thus why they're called wall passes. Uh, with the wall acting almost like a mirror, so you can play one-twos around your opponent as many times as you want, smash it off the wall. I think there's going to be a lot of buttons though to learn, it could be quite tricky. Uh, wall lobs and lofted through passes can be done using the wall as well. So right here, I mean this looks a little bit ridiculous, doesn't it? I mean that's obviously fully assisted. They've chipped the ball up. He's done a little cartwheel there off the wall. But, you know, that is one hell of a technique. Credit to him. Sign him up if he's going to pull off a finish. Look at that. That magnitude. Insane. Uh, Self-passes are passes where you become a valid passing target while using the wall, allowing you to pass to yourself. There you go. They're especially useful to trick opponents. So here we go. Ding, ding. See you later. Job done. Uh, I don't know if they have new defending mechanics, or it's the same as FIFA 19, etc. Uh, they've added a new shooting system as well. Uh, the ball will generally stay lower to the ground, and shots won't require as much power to reach the goal. Uh, shooting at the goalie and futsal size goal is very similar to 1v1. Of course, except it's minute compared to a full size goal. Similar levels of assistance. However, shooting at small nets without goalkeepers is almost fully manual. Oh... There you go, we found out. So it is basically, you can't change it, I don't think. It's just, all right, fair enough, but a manual shooting with no goalies, I think that, that's smart because otherwise it would just be about 55 to 32 nil. Well, not nil, you get my point. Uh, street skills, the new mechanics exclusive to Volta Football allow players to perform skill moves more easily and accomplish unique moves. Okay, so yeah, there's the uh, the buttons you need to do these moves. You're going to hold L2, R2, and then play around with that. Play around with that stick, as you love to do. Um, now, depending on how good your player is, if he's a four or five star, they'll be able to do better moves. So one to three, one to three star skill players always perform new flick combos. So I don't know if it's random or what it is, but you just flick it, and then you click it. There you go. Four and five star skill players perform a variety of moves. So you've got the double thigh flick, the ball roll flick, the drag OSF flick, the rainbow flick, and the ball hop flick, and sombrero. 
So there we go, lots to choose from. You can see the moves being done, but it just, it's so, it is super fast, isn't it? And it's, it's just gonna be a case of getting that and just uh, see what you can do. Uh, five star exclusive around the world flick, drag back, flick, spin, and ball roll, flick, spin. Everything is spin and flick. They should call it Volta Flick. So there it is. I mean, you can see, this is nitpicking, but you can see the ball doesn't even touch his foot, by the way. Watch, ready? Right here. Touch his knee, doesn't even touch his foot. It's about that far off of it. Uh, to perform R3 and L3 directions, some fake shots you've got as well. Um, right here, you can flick it up, do some tricks, and, and bosh, Bob's your uncle. You've got the flair showcase. Uh, players like to demonstrate their flair and abilities for the ball, so players can textually perform flair passes. So flair passes are just ridiculous passes that you would never see in a, in a football game. I mean, maybe Ronaldo would have pulled one or two off back in the days when he was at United, but yeah, crazy, crazy moves, but they're all kind of contextual stuff. We have got taunts. Look at that, but a WWE action in Volta. So you can do, I don't know, I mean, why though? Come on, I mean, I know it's just for the sake of it, but I don't think the AI is gonna appreciate you taunting them, <laughs> to be honest, and then RKOing them. Uh, we added the kneeling header, because tapping it in is not enough. So you can now get on your hands and knees, right here, stop it, get down, and give it a little bosh, there you go. <laughs> Uh, authentic behavior. Uh, on top of a variety of ways to play, the new mechanics and ways to showcase your personality with the ball, we added quite a few behaviors. Um, improved blocking. So it's literally, you know, stick your foot out and stop it. Gets up really quickly, but that is the point of this game mode. It's fast, it's quick, it's goals after goals, chance after chance. They've got a whole bunch of spiel right here. Uh, new celebrations and replay cameras. I don't know what this player's doing. He sort of runs into the wall. I think he forgets where the goal is. It happens. We've all done it before. Um, <laughs> it's really up to the player. So, yeah, you've got new celebrations, wall celebrations as well. Look at that. Bit of a cartwheel. Bit of magic. It seems to be everything in this game mode. And um, if you love it, if you love this type of stuff, this could be the mode for you. If you don't, Give it a pass, it's really up to yourself. So, Volta, football kickoff. You know, the, the thing about this mode, and I don't know why they didn't do it, is there's not really an online. I believe there's an online league, however, that's it. There, there's not, you know, why is there no ultimate team here? This is a big chance for EA to make even more money. Have an ultimate team mode. Now instead they've got these little seasons um, throughout the course of each sort of you know, promotions, relegations, and that type of stuff. So you've got 5v5, here it is. Three versus three rush, four versus four, four versus four rush, 5v5 and futsal, all of the nice little domino effect, just to show you how it sets up. There's the formation screen, same as FIFA before. I wish Konami would kind of do something similar-ish, don't copy them, but upgrade what we have because it's a little bit outdated. Now, customization, Volta coins, objectives, and Volta shop. So we've got a bit of Sims action right here. So you can customize your player um, throughout the game called Avatar. It's not really a new thing. We all know what an avatar is. Um, so you can get some new clothing, uh, you know, a nice swagalicious gold jacket if you're feeling the vibe, or maybe a little bit of the red and white stripe combo. Um, look at that bling. It's probably gonna be expensive. Uh, you've got some holes with the jeans, if you're feeling those. Uh, they're all unlocked within a, or their, their items in the Volta Shop are within a tiered rarity system, and are many are grouped into ladders of increasing prestige. But you know, that's the thing. Okay, you're gonna customize your player, and you're gonna make them look this, that, and the other. Does it really affect the gameplay? And that's the thing, I, I I tweeted something out the other day about Pez and the managers and how they would look better and this, that, and the other. But honestly, I create a manager in Pez, Luigi, in about five minutes and that's it. I don't change his outfit, I don't change his look, I don't care about him. I'm more focused about the actual gameplay. Anyway, the higher the difficulty, the higher the reward. So, there you go. Uh, they've got a bit of a Volta story here. It shows absolutely nothing. I looked at it, so we're gonna skip past that. 
Uh, but pretty much it follows the conclusion of the Journey trilogy in FIFA 19. They're bringing players in an all new crafted narrative in FIFA 20 that is centered around your avatar. So it's a story, okay? It's a story that you're gonna play up. You're gonna learn about recruiting players, basics of squad building, travel to unique playable environments, experience them like never before, uh, match head to head against legends of streets and competitive matches on their own turf, and compete for special rewards. Uh, there is a bit of an online connected experience, but that's the thing. It's not against AI, it's not against a human opponent. You're playing against people that have created those teams, and then it's just a human, uh, it's just an AI playing against you. Now that's the thing, it's like FIFA is such a big online game, why didn't they focus more with online? I mean, I probably enjoy it to be honest, because I am more offline than online. Uh, there is a little bit of online, as I said before. It's like a Seasons, there's all the places you can play. Um, there's three types of tournaments as well. More information right there, um, showing you recruiting a different player. There's the stats, the different outfits. Nothing like pink shorts as well with lime green. Surely they should probably change. Um, you're, you can also recruit street football legends. Which legends will they be? Who knows? So you've got Volta League. Now, this is similar to online seasons of past FIFA. So this may interest you. Um, it's an online connected mode where providing the community with the ability to match up player versus player on a daily basis, keeping your skills sharp and the fun going. Choose your match settings, home turf that suits your style of play and invite friends and compete head to head against your peers through promotion and relegation both home and away with online Volta. Now it does say invite friends, so I'm guessing you can obviously invite them or you can be matched up with them. And it's not just strictly invite only because that wouldn't make much sense. Um, so there it is, pretty much seasons for Volta. How many people play seasons though? I don't know. Um, there are a couple of fundamental aspects to progression, squad management, you can configure your starting lineup, for each vault of football type, so the different match types, you can have different lineups. Okay, you know, very much like online, you've got different squads you can pick, so you can go ahead and do that. Uh, they've got these little cards here as well, look quite nice, you know, different look, different feel. Not rated very high, and they're all 66s for some reason. Uh, team chemistry is also important. Okay, let's hear about this. A higher chemistry value will grant higher boosts to all the players present in the starting lineup. A low chemistry won't penalize you. No, it won't. But you may miss out on getting the edge over your opponent if you don't prioritize it. There are two things that can improve your chemistry, placing players in their preferred positions. If you play FIFA, you know all about chemistry, making sure the players prefer they play in their preferred. There's no sort of nationality thing though. So I'm sure getting chemistry on this mode is going to be far easier than we've seen before. Here's a look at the stats if you want to pause it and check them out of, of what's what. Obviously there's, I would expect, slightly different than an 11v11 match. Um, you can build different chemistry styles. Seven unique chemistry styles, by the way. Seven. Uh, Volta World, each player is from a different home court. Unity, all players are from the same court. Okay, so it's, it's sort of court-based. Um, and all that, so different ways to get chemistry. Uh, you can grow your avatar as well. You can view it after every match in the post-match summary so you can see what's happening. So it's kind of in the, in the be a pro sense, You're gonna try and accumulate players to get better and better and better uh, and get them up to where you want them to be. Uh, you've got a skill tree as well. So you can certainly pick, see this is more interesting. You know, it's more interesting stuff. Little skill trees, almost like an RPG here. That's what they're going for. Uh, and completing certain skill tree parts will also unlock specific titles for your avatar, showcasing the, uh, the various levels of specialty that you've unlocked. Okay. Jeez, this thing goes on forever. This is an absolute whopper. So these are all the different, um, whatever they were talking about, I've forgotten already. Unlocks and stuff. Perks, pretty much, for your players. Uh, and don't worry, you won't be losing attribute boost or traits unlocked alongside. It's very confusing, to be honest. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, and that is pretty much it. That is all of it. That is everything in a nutshell. 
Is this going to entice me? No, it's not. It's not because the gameplay is the same. It's the same as FIFA 19, 18, 17, but it's going to be faster. There's going to be more tricks. You can taunt. You can do wall moves, uh, celebrate off the wall. You can head the ball in on the floor. And there's a little different mechanics they've added, but how exciting will this be? I think they made a bit of a boo-boo. And I don't say boo-boo often by not including sort of an ultimate team online mode. Yes, there's seasons, but it's not going to grasp you by the gonads and make you want to play this game mode over and over again. It's more based for, I feel anyway, a couple of weeks, maybe a month, you play with your friends every now and then, but most people are gonna be focused on career mode, online, be a pro and all that. I don't know, I, I, it looks cool, it looks different, but I think the novelty will be worn off very, very quickly. That's my thoughts on it. Anyway, leave your thoughts below. I wanted to put out a video about it. What's it all about? Do I like it? Do I think it's worth purchasing purely for it? Probably not. Hopefully there'll be a demo though, and we'll be able to check it out for ourselves because I would like to, I certainly would. Anyway, we'll be back shortly. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed today's long ass video. I know, me blabbering on, but leave your thoughts below. We'll be back shortly. Until next time, subscribe for more and take care.